Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Garage Gym. In today's video, we are going to demonstrate how to do assisted dips using a resistance band. And this video is based on the very popular video here on the YouTube channel on assisted pull-ups. And to answer the question, yes. To this day, in this workout, just before I got to the dips, I was doing assisted pull-ups with this very band right here. It's much more safe or safer much more effective, effectiver, if that's a word. I can really go slower. I don't have to worry about any kind of kipping or momentum. I can get a good squeeze at the top. And of course I can get a good stretch at the bottom of each and every grip of each and every pull up. And that's the same principle here for the dips. I have elbow problems. I have a history of bursitis, bone chips in both elbows. So this band will enable me not only to be safe, not only to protect my elbows, my shoulders, and my neck, or whatever else impact that I might do with momentum on the dip, but also do it more effectively, better form, isometrics, all of the above. Really just a great benefit. Don't try to be a hero. Train smart. Don't, well, train smart and hard, but train smart before you try to put your ego into it and do any kind of hero stuff. Uh, and at 50 years old, I need to be careful. So we're gonna hook it up here. Now these, these dip handles are great. The redesigned uh, dip handles for the Force USA G15 Pro. They store on one of these storage shelves. The footprint is immensely smaller than the previous version of this for the classic MyRack. I love them and that's why I'm so happy I can use them with this resistance band. So let's uh, get a closer look, hook this up and then we'll get started. So you can see these dip handles have two grips. On this one, I'm gonna go with the wide one and I'm also gonna put the band right in here and then right in this one. Now you might think this is super loose, but once I put one or both knees into this band, depending upon how much I want to be assisted in the dip, uh, that will be determined. Usually I do one knee and then I put the other one over. You can also put your feet down if you wanna go a little bit higher with the dip. Uh, but I'm going to go just one knee in and maybe two as I get tired throughout the set. Uh, you can also put it on the inside for a little less, a little less assistance on this. Now you can also try to loop it as well and around, but you're going to get way too much resistance. I think with this medium sized band right here is just perfect. And my OCD is kicking and I want them stacked and not twisted in any way. So let's uh, do a few sets of dips and I'll demonstrate how I can just really safely and effectively do these dips with this band. All right, so let's get started. So we want to really safe and effective are the two words. Safe is the number one word right here. You want to be safe. So I'm just going to put basically my shin right in here to get that resistance. You can see how it stretches down quite a bit. So you can go with a thinner band if you want less where you can put both knees in here. But what I'm going to do is come up into the starting position on that dip. I could bring both knees in. But with this, I'm just gonna leave one out right there, come down. Now see, I held that right there. I can hold the stretch with the assistance and come up into that, even doing the athlete X where I squeeze up a little bit higher because I know that band is giving me a good foundation of the base. Quality over quantity too. Oh, I squeezed, I did about four there, but it definitely gave me Whew, a good pump just for four. I could do more than that. I could use momentum. I could put both knees in there and do a little bit of a burnout set. We'll do another set in about 30 seconds to a minute. I'll put both knees in there and just kind of rep out, go to failure. Although four with squeeze at the top and a pause at the bottom, I, I felt that every bit is doing like sloppy eight, sloppy 10, sloppy 12, just trying to put sloppy reps out there. Those were four, in my opinion, good quality reps done. All right, so let's put both knees in here. It feels a little awkward. You got to make that space over there on the right. And I could go inside. I'm going to go outside grip again and just slide that knee in and down. I can go a little deeper with that assistance. I don't want to go too deep with my shoulder. I want to feel that stretch. But then I can do, like I said, the athlete X where I just come up and squeeze extra, squeeze extra, Whew. and then one foot down, keep that foot up and just come about out of it very carefully. So I wanna get this next shot so you can see just how deep I'm going in case the other two sets that I did 
didn't take. Let me go two knees, step three here. I definitely want to be as careful as possible. I'm going to hold that isometric, come down, stretch. See how my knees come forward a little bit to get that extra squeeze at the bottom of my chest. Oh my God, might not get four out of this. Oh, I'm getting a little tired. That's why putting two knees there is I'm feeling tired, even though you might think it's only three reps, but man, my heart rate shot up again. I can feel the isometrics of that underneath my chest from the top and the stretch down at the bottom, but I don't feel like I'm hanging in midair. I feel very well supported, but I don't feel like I'm cheating in any way because I'm going much slower. I'm holding with the isometrics. Wow, my heart rate's in the 130s. <laughs> wow. So let's do one more set. And I have to say, I'm so happy to be able to do body weight exercises like this and pull-ups using a band. It just makes such a huge difference. I'm gonna come up here again, slide that knee in there. I can fold these like this, but like I said, when I come out, I don't want my feet folded, especially being tired. I just want to come out of it carefully and safely. Oh, I can feel the isometrics at the top. Got our elbows in a little bit. Form is starting to go a little south. So maybe one more. No, I got a little sloppy. See how I came out really quick there? So that four set might not have been a, might not have been a good idea, but this band protected me with two legs in there, protecting me so much better than if I went down and I couldn't um, pause to even come out of it. If I was just coming down with momentum, that I, I could have felt that. That was, that was too many sets for this workout. Four was too many. And uh, especially the isometrics pauses, slowing down and 30 seconds rest. So this is a, literally could be a lifesaver for tears and all that stuff. So that about does it for this assisted dip video here on the channel. Make sure to check out the previous one. The assisted pull-up video will be in the description below. Also comment, do you want me to do a 2022 version of the assisted pull-up one? Because we have the stud bar pull-up uh, right there. And we also have the G15 Pro multi-grip pull-up bar here. So let me know if you want me to update that one. But I have to say pull-ups and dips, Using the band, I, I wouldn't do anything but that. You get nothing but quality reps, quality isometrics, and of course, those two words I've said throughout this video, ad nauseum, safe and effective. <laughs> but those words you have to think about and be careful, and this just adds to quality reps, not quantity. I didn't do many throughout the four sets, but I'm happy each and every rep, each and every part of the isometric range I just, I just feel like I got a better workout. So just like with the pull-ups, I will never do dips unassisted again. I will, might use a thinner band or when I'm tired or I'm more injured, a thicker band. But these bands here, uh, which by the way, use the power bands, don't use the D-handled ones. These power bands here, either from Dynapro in the SRF store or Force USA, those are ones we have right here. By the way, go to forgeosa.com forward slash Stevie. Check it out. You buy the bands or anything else like the G15 Pro, which includes these dip handles as a standard uh, list of attachments. Really a great value. We're going to do an update review on this. But check out that affiliate link with all the other affiliate links in the description below. Sometimes you save a little bit of money, but each and every time you use those links, you help support the content on this channel, which I am forever grateful for. So thank you so much, guys. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.